Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, finally, it had to happen a sensible reason to actually justify using Microsoft Edge as your primary browser. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at a new feature which you can enable in the Edge browser, which will take a lot of the hassle out of using the internet away. Now, this is their new Scareware Scanner or Scareware Blocker. This is actually a really cool tool if you, like myself or many other people, have browsed the internet and you know what it is, you go down little rabbit holes and you click on things, or maybe you've been shopping on a popular website and after you finish shopping, you get a pop-up saying, would you like to get 75 pounds worth of free vouchers for answering a survey? You click on it and then all of a sudden you get all these weird pop-ups and your browser just gets overrun and then you get the thing saying, please call Microsoft, your PC is infected and you hear all these sirens and noises and it's just absolute terror. What can you do about that sort of thing? Generally, in my particular instance, normally what I would do is I would just close all the browsers or just turn the computer off and start again. But Microsoft have realized that this is actually a very problematic thing. And also, obviously, a lot of companies do take advantage of the fact that it is a Microsoft product. So when they flash up these scareware things on the screen saying, please contact Microsoft, most people think it's actually quite genuine. There's a lot of people that actually fall for those kinds of fraud. So this is a great little tool which may be helpful to you and potentially to tell your loved ones and relatives that maybe aren't quite as tech savvy as you guys watching this, that this is something that they should activate on their PC. So with all that said, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're on our Windows 11 desktop. Now today's date is the 3rd of February, 2025. This may be fully integrated into Edge as time goes on, but currently at the time of recording, it is in preview, so it does need to be activated manually. So in order to do that, head down to Edge and click on that to open up your Edge browser. It'll say your browser has been updated to the latest version. Fantastic, that's exactly what we want to see. So if we head over now to the menu bar up here or the settings bar and go down to settings and then over on this far left hand side, we'll go to privacy, search and services. Over here, if we scroll down a little bit and we get to the security section so we've got this section here, Scareware Blocker. This is actually really simple. All you need to do is just to toggle that on. And there you go. So this is now gonna allow Microsoft to use AI to detect potential tech scams. You can click on that link to learn more. Basically, it takes you to the Microsoft website explaining what it's happening. Essentially, what they're doing is the Scareware Blocker is actually working in tandem with Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. And it's basically kind of like a two-step thing. So it's gonna use AI to detect things which look like they're fraudulent or these scareware tactics. And it's actually gonna run it through smart screen. And also it's gonna take into account other users as well. So kind of we're all beta testers in this. So the more of these kind of scareware sites that pop up and you actually report, the better it's gonna be. Now, I'm not gonna to go to those types of sites to show you what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna show you on the screen now the sort of message you'll see on your browser when you do encounter one of these scareware type sites. It should hopefully block it before you get the uh, pop-ups, but maybe it will do it slightly after. But this is the screen you'll see. So you can see here, you can take full control. So if you're actually going to a known website, which you know to be absolutely genuine and legit, you can just continue and carry on through to that website. Or alternatively, you can choose to close this window or block this window. So that's gonna be great for a lot of people who get a little bit panicky or maybe don't know if these pop-up things are genuine or not. Maybe they have got a virus. Hopefully this is gonna go some way to actually preventing that scaring and hopefully make it so that people that are using Microsoft Edge are a little bit better protected than those in other browsers. I'll also be putting a link in the video description to a unlisted video from Microsoft themselves, explaining a little bit more on how this whole process works. So please feel free to check out the comments and you can click on that video at the moment. Like I said, it is from Microsoft. It is actually unlisted. So Microsoft aren't publicizing this at the moment. So if you wanna get early access to that video, then do use the links in the video description. But overall, I think this is a really good step in the right direction, using AI for things, which actually is beneficial for. I know we're all really, really tired of the whole AI thing and seeing it increasingly added to all kinds of marketing bump, which we don't really care about. But actually in this instance, I think it actually does make a lot of sense. There's so many websites out there all doing nefarious stuff. So we might as well use AI to try and block out as much as that as we possibly can. 
So there you go, let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Will you be adding it to your browser? Will you be using it? Will you be tempted now to maybe come away from some of the other browsers that maybe don't have this feature? I'll be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. If you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.